This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in Thailand, and yes, it is official. Tesla has opened up in Thailand, and they just freaking shock the whole uh, Thai EV industry here. Maybe even they shock the whole car industry in Thailand because of those prices and because of what Tesla is. So yes, uh, but okay. Um, I will tell you some of the background here, but some people are wondering, hey, Bjorn, but you had a Tesla Model 3, right? You bought it about a year ago. What happened to that one? I have sold it. So um, uh, actually, it was for several reasons I sold it. I decided to sell it. it was by the end of uh, by the end of earlier or a couple of months ago, I decided to sell MacGyver, my Tesla Model 3 Long Range, which is a great import, bought via Watsutan Group. It was from Hong Kong factory or Hong Kong market and they import it, grey market, and then they sell it here. It was freaking expensive, 3.5 million baht, that's almost a hundred, about 90,000 euros, you know. And the reason why I sold it, because I needed money, I made too much money last year and I had to pay a little bit extra tax. And it's my well, luxus fell. Okay, I spent too much money, and then I decided to, I actually wanted to keep the Tesla, but I sold it. And yeah, so I could get enough money. Plus, that I had this butt feeling that uh, Tesla might be coming. I'm not sure when. Some people say it might take several years before Tesla comes. There were some rumors about Tesla will be coming to Thailand. And I was thinking, wait, if Tesla comes, and look at the Hong Kong prices, the, Tesla is freaking cheap, but then the, the great import, they actually have to take a hefty profit to for risk in case something breaks down and they will have to fix it without, oh yeah, whatever. So, I, so I'm thinking, you know, there might be a hefty drop in price if they, they come. Uh, so that's several reasons why I sold my Tesla and it was a grievance tea in, in time because 11 o'clock local time here they had an event open event they announced the prices and it was like tesla is shocking the whole car industry in thailand not only the ev industry but all the whole car industry with these prices i'll come back to that but um i have now put an order on tesla model 3 and i'll show you which one i went for so you see here when you go i can show you here that uh, suddenly when you scroll wait i don't have any she where is the scroll wheel uh, da, 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 okay 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 you scroll down here right asia pacific thailand yeah it, it's a, it's a thai you can choose thailand and english so they have good thing that they have english pages uh it's kind of funny they actually use the nedc they're not even damn close i don't know why they use it because maybe they're hoping that in thailand nedc is more realistic because it's warm but uh, i will actually in case Thai, in case tesla is watching first of all uh, you need a space between the number and the unit here this is not grammatically correct um and the second is that uh, I have tested Model 3 in Thailand. Like, for example, here, 681, no, not, that no, ain't gonna happen. Uh, my Model 3 gray import I tested can actually go around 600 kilometers. I was actually not driving that fast. I was doing similar to the 90 kilometers per hour test with slight uh, slowdown here and there. Which means that 681 is kind of like, okay, uh, you you will be confusing a, a couple of Thai con uh, consumers, if you, uh, Thai buyers, if you used any of these. I, I think you should actually, Tesla should also use uh, VLTP in uh, Thailand. Um, and then for Model 3, I suspect that it should be 450 kilometers, maybe 500, but I'm, no, I'm leaning toward 450 in Thailand. And then this one around 600 kilometers in Thailand. And then for the Model 3 performance, slightly worse because of the wheels. But I can show you the configurator here. So they, they try to make it simpler. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the cost saving, you see that there's a price here. How much is this, roughly? Uh, this is about uh, almost 50,000 euros. It's still kind of expensive, but actually not that much more expensive than the rest of Europe. A little bit more expensive than Norway. And I wonder, yeah. So it's actually a really good price. This one, and this, and also, okay, I should mention now, by the way, that in Thailand, we have those Chinese cars, BYD Auto 3. Thai people, they've been going freaking crazy. Like, there's been like, like, like Apple uh, iPhone release or some shit, right? When, when people queue up the night before, that's what happened. Lots of, lots of Thai people, they were just going crazy about the BYD Auto 3. I don't know why, really. I mean, it's a f fairly spacious uh, car, but it's Chinese and BYD, you know, I don't know. Um, and lots of people put orders on uh, BYD and some people I think also take took delivery it but BYD Auto 3 is 60 kilowatt hour 
it's like a crossover ish. Uh, I think it's similar size to an e Niro or uh, maybe uh, it's, it's bigger than ZS EV, more like, uh, yeah, that size roughly e Niro. Maybe it could be a match ID4 roughly, so you guys know what kind of car it is, right? Uh, and it cost 1.2 million baht in Thailand, and people were just mm, crazy for it, right? But then the Model 3 came, and it's one point, uh, actually roughly 1.8 million, so it's more expensive, and it's Model 3. Model Y is slightly more expensive than this. You have to add around 100, 200k to the price to get the Model, the, the model Y equivalent ones. Um, but I heard that uh, the, the today announcement shook the whole car industry in Thailand, and lots and lots of people who ordered uh, BYD, uh, yeah, BYD Auto 3, they actually cancel it. So, <laughs> and also BYD also was kind of shaking off some, they were also taking customers from uh, MG set as EV. So people who order MG, they were like, oh, no, we're gonna go for BYD instead. And now they're like, oh, there's something better. And then go for Tesla. So this is actually good because it means that the Thai EV car industry, like BYD, MG, Aura, good kind of great world motor, they really have to reconsider the pricing in case if they want to compete with Tesla, they have to lower the prices. They have to do something because Tesla has a damn good advantage. You guys know it. I shouldn't need to explain because when Tesla comes here, they will build service centers. They have the money. You know, Tesla, they're freaking big now. They, they will build service centers most likely in Chiang Mai, maybe in Korat, some of the bigger cities, and also Bangkok, maybe several in there. They will also big, build superchargers. And Bangkok, eh, Bangkok, Chiang Mai, that route that I've been driving, Chiang Mai is Thailand's second largest city. So they will most likely build a supercharger on the, on the V3, only V3, not V2. Somewhere in between there. Uh, maybe I'm thinking maybe Kampang Pet or somewhere like that, right? Maybe one or maybe two even. And, you know, they have the money. They, they're not going to build like four superchargers. No, no, no. They will probably put up like at least 10 or maybe if it's Thailand, they, they should know roughly the sales numbers. They might just put up like 20, 30 stalls at on one location. V3, right? 250 kilowatt hour per hour. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's going to be freaking game changers. Like this is my dream came true. I've been talking about this for several years. I, I, I look, I saw the potential in Thai people. I knew that if Tesla come to Thailand, they're going to sell like hotcakes because of what Tesla has. They have good cars. They have awesome apps, they have lots of cool features, they have software updates that make the car better and better. They have the supercharger network. They're going to butt rape the whole car industry, EV car industry in Thailand, mark my words, because here we don't, I mean, okay, we have some 50 kilowatt chargers, we have the so-called 160 kilowatt chargers with our 200 uh, amp uh, limited chargers. So for 800 volt cars like Taycan, yes, you can get 150, 160 kilowatt, but for most other EVs, you get 75 to 80 kilowatt. That's it. There's no Ionity here. There's no Mir. There's no Fortum or something here. So the charging network in Thailand, I mean, we have DC fast charger, but it's usually just 175 kilowatt at one location or two times 50 kilowatt, <laughs> like I talked about recently, right? And then Tesla, which is bam, 250 kilowatt chargers. I wonder if they're gonna open up the charging network or not. <laughs> if if they wanna just if they wanna squeeze the 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 competition in Thailand, just keep it closed. <laughs> then people are like Thai people are like fuck that shit. We're gonna get Tesla so we can charge on the 250 kilowatt. So finally, we can really get a superb charging network in Thailand. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Thai, I mean, Tesla is going to sell like hotcakes in Thailand because of the pricing. This is actually fairly affordable for many, many people. It's not just for the upper rich, like around 1.8 million baht, many, many people can afford it. And what, what, can, what can you get for this price, buddy? You can get, um, um, you can get a Honda, I'm not sure, Honda Accord or Honda Civic or a Toyota, um, uh, Toyota, I'm not sure, Camry, uh, something like that. It tries to match those cars, and I think it's even more expensive than, for example, BMW 3 Series. So the Model 3, Model, this one, it, it kicks ass, 225 kilometers per hour, top speed, 6.1 seconds. It, it has insane figures, right? 
And if you want to go for something faster, you can get long range, only 250k more. And then you get freaking insane. You get supercars. I don't need to explain to you guys how this is. It's just insane. And then performance is also really affordable compared to the other. This is just insane how it is. And remember that the gray import that I bought, I paid 3.5 million baht. So they, this is way, way cheaper. And this is exactly what we need because Thai people, they have ordered like crazy. I've seen posts all over Facebook today on my feed. People ordered long range. People even went for performance. They have the money. They, and they also they went for, for Model Y. Many people also want Model Y because they need the space. So which one did I go for? I have ordered already ordered it because I needed to hurry. So I will have a, a good reservation number. I went for, well, I can actually walk you through it. Interesting how they limit the options here. You will see that, okay. You will see that if I scroll down here. Um, black is included, huh. interesting. And then multicolor red is 50,000 baht extra. So this is around 10-ish, no, around 12, 1200 euros extra for multicolor red. And you see the other colors uh, are the same, except for, what did they say multicolor red? I mean, I mean red, white, white, yeah, my, my bad, my bad. But you, you know what I mean, I'm a little bit excited, that's it. Um, but um, many people might actually go for black, but I have tested, I've looked it through the thermal camera, that black gets really hot. In the, in the Thai sun over here, uh, it gets around 70 degrees Celsius in the sun, but the white stays around 40 degrees Celsius, which means that in a country like Thailand, a white car should actually uh, have lower consumption because the HVAC doesn't have to work that hard versus this one. But I'm not sure how the external will affect the, the temperature internally. But so I went for this one, white, okay. And then when it comes to wheels, you see that we only have one option. In Norway or other countries, you can choose between the, no, 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 yeah, yeah, this one, sorry, sorry, you, you have this one, okay. Uh, but interior, only black, no white interior. They actually want to simplify things because maybe they are already producing these cars and shipping them over to the uh, in the boat and so on right uh, and when it comes to enhanced autopilot we have it, we also have it in Thailand this is um, trying to calculate uh, try to convert to you guys this should be around 4,000 euros right three three thousand four thousand euros uh, three three thousand something euros um, I didn't get these because Navigate on autopilot is kind of like a gimmick. I tried it in Europe. It doesn't really work. Like in Norway also and in Thailand. Uh, it, I think it's better in America, really. Auto lane change would be nice to have, of course. But on the other hand, uh, I will not be traveling that much. I'll mostly be traveling between Chiang Mai and Chiang Dao. So not really that much needed. Auto park, uh, it's not that great. The Tesla's auto park is kind of slow. It, it, you can park faster. That's the problem. Uh, Xpeng's auto park, that is way better faster summon again it's just a gimmick S same with a smart summon so i've considered that this kind of money here it's not worth it when it comes to full self-driving when the heck are we going to get it in thailand who knows only lord elon musk knows so i'm like okay no i, I will not get full self-driving it's a lot of money you will be you will give of course you can just give elon musk a, a free loan and just get this one and who knows when it will arrive in thailand um and I think that's it. I just went for this one and you see that, no, 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 I didn't go for this one. Okay, what, what option did I go for? I went for long range because I consider, okay, Model 3 SR Plus has the LFP, would be perfect in Thailand because you will have low, low degradation. It's, it's, LFP battery is very resistant against heat and we have heat, especially in Bangkok. It can be 40, 45 degrees Celsius during summer. I'm not sure how healthy it is for the battery to stay at 40, 45 degrees, maybe even 50 degrees Celsius if you park it in the parking lot. So then LFP would be perfect. It'd be like, ah, no problem. So degradation should be really, really low for LFP battery. Uh, I consider it, but we are not located in the south and we will be mostly parked in the north, like here, Chiang Mai, Chiang Dao, Chiang Dao. Chiang Dao is at around 400 meter over sea level even. And during win winter over here, it becomes, I mean, it gets around 25, 28 degrees in, in, in daytime, and then at night, maybe just 20, 15, 20 degrees. Sometimes it can be as low cold as five degrees Celsius. And I'll probably, I will I have taught people um, over here to just keep it at around 60% uh, 
uh, single charge. And then on long trips, okay, then they're going to go to 90, 100%. Which means that if we go for the long range, we should be able to still minimize the, the degradation. But I actually did want to go for LFP also, but um, I'm also a little bit speed demon. So that's why I figured out, okay, I'm gonna go for long range. Because um, another thing, which is that uh, the reason why I bought long range gray, gray import last time was that I need to show the, the best of the best of Tesla how kick ass it is when it comes to range. But now I have another uh, thing I want to show, which is that the, this one, Standard Range Plus, peaks at only 170 kilowatt. Long range peaks at 250 kilowatt. And the performance is just faster, but then I don't consider that one very important. So I actually went for long range. And you will see here, by the way, that long range, you have the same option that there's still this one. So I, okay, I, I want white. I could, of course, go for black and then just kind of, I could just uh, coat it. I mean, not coat it, but I could uh, put uh, some vinyl on it to make it white or something else. But I, I want to I want to have a original color. But you see here that this is what differs from uh, Norway or other countries is that in Norway, you can choose the 18 inch um, with the wheel caps, but here this is only 19 inch. But that's fine. Why if you actually want this and we want to actually paint it, uh, spray paint it at the shop, of course, uh, black, want to make it black. And we can also, in, in Thailand, we can also uh, tint the side window and the front window. Gonna tint, it's going to look badass, just like the old one. It's going to be like the old one, just reborn. M MacGyver version 2. <laughs> Interior, again, just black, that's it. And all the other options, same, same. And you see, that's, this is the end price. Two million, a little bit over two million baht. So, uh, how much is that again? 500 and uh, a little, little bit over 50,000 euros. Okay, kind of expensive, but yeah, we will we will be able to handle it. And I will just show you that for if you, if you want to for Model 3 performance. Again, the uh, code, uh, blah, blah, blah. We, yeah, then you only have the Uber turbines. You cannot choose a 19 inch. So yeah, and the same here, interior. But I don't know if you notice one thing. There is no option for tow hitch, which is a bummer. Tow hitch would be nice because I was thinking about, you know, tow hitch and then put some extra luggage on the, like I have, if I get like a tool uh, stuff, like right, for cargo, and you can then put put luggage in the back here. So uh, at least I guess we could put something on the roof, but uh, on, for the most part, when, when Amber's dad picks us up at the airport, he will come alone. We have, we have ourselves and Isabel and uh, the Model 3 actually has remarkably good space. Uh, we will probably not put, I mean, we're not probably not going to bring that much luggage from now on, I guess, or we'll figure out something. But, you know, we shouldn't pick a car just because we need a large car for uh, airport runs. So, yes, that's it. And then when will it arrive? There was no uh, estimated date, but people say that it will come Q1 2023. So, yes. Uh, it's gonna be awesome, but you see it's not only about the Tesla because okay in one way I actually hope the Tesla will open up the supercharger network because it will re revolutionize the car sales in Thailand it mean, suddenly means that you actually have true high power charging network 250 kilowatt in Thailand that all the other EVs can use they will the, the Chinese cars like uh, BYD Auto 3 and those cars they will only be charging at like 75 90 kilowatt maybe MG4 will be the fastest one charging at 140 kilowatt uh, but at least okay if there there are, there are actually a few EQS and a few uh, BMW iX3 and some fat e but they're freaking expensive at least um, iX3 and uh, Volvo XC40, C40, they are actually made in China, so they're also relatively ex uh, inexpensive, but they also cost a lot. Um, XC40 costs 2.4 million baht, and um, uh, iX3 costs 3.6 million baht. And then the Model Y is, well, I can see here, I, I'm not gonna switch, well, how it's kind of clumsy, well, can I just do this? Um, you can see the prices of Model Y. Uh, they, they are really, really competitive. Yeah, hey, I see the model. So you can get even a rear wheel drive Model Y would be able to match some of those other cars I mentioned, right? And they are way cheaper. Like, uh, and they have more space. I've, I've tested the banana box test. So 
it's a freaking game changer. Model Y and but only Model Y and Model 3 will, will be available because they only they can only sell the Shanghai cars. Uh, the um, Model 3 and uh, Model S and X they are ma manufactured in uh, free mode, and then you don't get um, the um, the China fair, fair trade uh, advantage thing. So it's only for this one. But another thing to mention is that uh, these Teslas they don't get um, the government uh, rebate uh, roughly two hundred thousand baht, unfortunately. But still, I guess Tesla they just squeeze the the prices to make it really really competitive. And again, what what benefits does this have for me? Well, it means that EVs in Thailand will be more and more common. Teslas also, I will probably get more views on the Tesla videos also when I test them in Norway. Uh, we will have supercharged network. I can do some stress tests. Finally, I four. Let's see then. I four in. 40 degrees Celsius when we are pumping in uh, 200 kilowatt on the V3 supercharger. Will it overheat in Thailand or was that just a case? I'm not going to try to find any faults with i4, you know, but I'm not picking one. I'm just saying as an example that I can suddenly start doing some stress testing in really hot weather to see, for example, Ionic 5 pumping in 220 kilowatt in 45 degrees Celsius. Is it gonna wrap it gate or not? We'll find out, I guess. So the future is looking bright. I can suddenly do more videos that I couldn't do before. And the, the whole market, the whole EV transition in Thailand will probably accelerate quite a lot because Tesla's are pushing the boundaries and all the other car manufacturers and charging networks needs to follow up <laughs> to be able to compete with Tesla. So yes, I'm pretty pumped up for this. Oh, um, what else is there? Have I included anything? Yeah, about there. And then we will see when I will take the liver of it. I will stay actually in Thailand until um, February 14. <laughs> and then we will see, and usually the, the, the cars, they will come in in boat loads, right, from China. So I just have to try to kind of coordinate that. Uh, I want to take the liver of it while I'm here. Of course, not when I'm in Norway, but I'm already planning to come back here with wifey and Isabel around, um, April, May, because we want to, we wanted to run away from the freaking Russians. Yabla Rus. No, okay, okay, not Yabla Rus. Okay, I take it back. But they just, they, you know, actually, yeah, I, I mean it, man. They, they, t they make too much damn noise, and they don't give a damn about people living nearby. They party and make noise, and the police have to shoot them away every day during Rusetu during May time. And okay, well, we will just come here and have some fun in Thailand instead. Yes, how about that? So yes, I think. That's gonna be it for now. Huh? What do you guys think? Thailand, huh? Is he gonna kick ass for the Lord? Elon Musk did a good choice. And um, yeah, we will see how it goes, I guess, in Thailand. So that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.